one and it feels like negative 20 right now. My face is frozen. That wind is fierce. When I woke up this morning at 4 a.m., it was 11 degrees above zero out. Right now it's negative two. It's supposed to get down to negative 21 and feel like 40 to 45 below zero Fahrenheit with the wind chill. It is cold. Look at that though. Looks so beautiful. It's snowing out. We got small snow going on. The hydrant's still working, so that is a bonus having the water right here. I'm gonna take care of all of the animals, feed them inside today so they don't have to go out to eat. But it's gonna be an interesting day and it's gonna put the off-grid house to the test. We haven't had it this cold. It'll be interesting to see how everything works. The outdoor boiler, the solar, all of it. The sun's supposed to come out partly today, so that'll be nice. To have water outside while it's this cold out is huge. It might not seem that big to you guys, but I've never had running water all winter long. Out to our animals. I've always lugged out to the animals in the past where we had a storage tank in the other shed. Not running water, so this is wild to have it. This is all spring fed. We did this underground a few years ago. That was one of the first projects we did once we got the land cleared. So it's been awesome to use it and have it be a convenience. I fed the boys inside and they still want to come out. Your food's inside, guys. You don't need to come out. These animals are crazy. They don't mind this weather one bit. I don't get it. The girls, they might stay inside. The girls, they don't want to come out. I don't blame them. I'm gonna go inside, warm up, cook some bacon and eggs and some toast, and we can start working on that cabinet some more. It's gonna be nice to have a good warm inside project. so cold and fierce, blowing stuff everywhere. I'm actually surprised. This is the only part we had way over there so far. Was, that, was that hooked to the building already? No, it was one of the extra ones we had up here. Now I don't know where to keep it. We need to test fit this now, make sure everything's gonna fit the way we want it to. Then we can get the base secured on and I'm gonna make the trim work, which unfortunately means I gotta go outside and do some cutting, even though I don't want to. And then we can stop painting and priming, or priming and painting, I should say. Well, because my barn cats are now house cats, and it's really, really cold yeah. out, it's gonna be interesting to see how we're gonna get this painted without having them up in the cubby and stuff, because they love anything that's a cubby hole, all three of the cats, so it's cute until you're trying to do something. Then it's not, I mean, it's still cute, but it makes it a little difficult. And then I think everything is their playhouse. Right, Frigo? I did get you something last night. Got you a new roller Aww. and roller covers. Over. I'm gonna have to lay it down and attach the base and then we'll get it up and make sure everything's the way we need it to get. I'll make the trim work and we'll take it off. We can paint everything and then I'll put the trim work on after the cabinet all gets painted so that way we can get up on the sides nice and nice and we won't have to worry about trying to get in. Then we'll put the trim on and paint the trim after.
And that wind is some fierce. We're really gonna see how this house does in this weather. It says it's negative seven right now, and with the wind chill, it feels like negative 27. You're inspecting it already, I'm not even finished. All right, now we can stand it back up, give it a little tweaks, and then get our trim work made. Remind me before we prime it and paint it, I need to mark and drill all of our pocket holes in the plywood to attach it to the wall. So we're just trying to figure out right now, it's a little bit wrapped over, so it's a little bit like a leaning tower. So the glue is dry, so let's make it a little bit more difficult. So we're now, Alex is trying to do some, what are you trying to do? I think what a lot of the issue is, is these floors aren't perfectly straight because they're concrete and we hand folded them. So if the floors aren't straight one slide, your cabinet's sitting there, you can tweak it. Right, and that's kind of when we did our cabinet, they would have went a lot faster installing them if our floor was a perfect floor, which it's not, and that's kind of what we wanted, but when we're doing stuff that needs to be straight and sit there nice, it makes it a little bit more difficult and a little bit more time consuming, so. That's pretty close right there. I'll put the level on it, double check, and I think that'll do it. Yeah, because you're gonna have a base plate down here. Yeah, so it'll be a toe kick cover. Toe kick. That covers all that. So we gotta go a whisker more, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I take this cabinet back down and then paint it. And when we go to install it, we'll, per we'll pump everything up perfectly. But now we know everything's made correctly. We just gotta shim up that left corner. So that's gonna be your kitchen aid. That's like perfect height. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we decided to go with the silver handles in this kitchen because it seems like everything is kind of matching it. I can hear them cutting. They're cutting for the pole barn. I want to go out and watch them, but it's way too cold to be out there. <laughs> so if you hear the noise in the background, it sounds like a vacuum is running. That's most likely what you're hearing is they're cutting pretty close. It's on the other side where we have the pole barn site that we want to do. So that's what's going on over there. And then it's really windy outside. So sometimes you can hear that gust, so. So he's right down there, starting the clearing over this area.
sun feels good inside, but I think it's still cold out there. Well, now that I have my balsam vinegar, I can go ahead and make the balsamic ranch chicken that I wanted to do a while back, but I didn't have the vinegar. I've had it for a little bit, but I just haven't had any chicken out. So last night we had something with chicken, so I had three big breasts, so I just saved some out for that meal and then some out to do with this glaze. Mm -hmm. I got that in the fridge and now I just gotta clean up, but I wanted to show you what my ginger butt is looking like right now. So this is about, I think we're on day three. So I keep adding some ginger, some sugar, and some water to this. So it's gonna get quite full. All right, so the primer is all dry. I wanna go around, just give it a quick sand down, get it down any dust or any bad spots, get it nice and smooth. And then we can start putting our paint on. It's gonna be nice to see this all in color. But that wind is whipping. I just checked my phone, it says it's negative nine and feels like negative 32 is that wind. I'll let the dogs out to go to the bathroom and it is frigid. Priming and then sanding, I think that's a key because when I was doing priming a lot this summer and not sanding it, then I felt like it wasn't good. But this makes a nice flat coat for us. I'm gonna dust it with microfiber cloth. I hate the feelings of it on my hands, but it works to pick up the dust particles. So we're gonna dust this off and then paint it blue. And now we wait. Burr! It is cold out. It says it's negative 17. And with the wind chill, it feels like negative 44 when I went out earlier to do the chores again. It was cold. We need to check the wood stove, see how much wood we burned today, and get it loaded up. <coughs> That's how cold it is. So they just got done logging a little while ago and we can see those mountains so much better now. 
They're not completely done logging that whole area. They're just done for the day. And I'm liking it so much already. <sighs> all right, let's check the stove. See how much wood we've used the, all day because our circulator pumps have not shut off today. <sighs> oh yeah, we burned up a pile of wood. still have one, two pieces in there and that's probably oh, eight to 10 inches thick of coals burning good. I filled that up last night, Whew. probably around five. Ooh, that wind's bad. Five or six o'clock at night with about 16 pieces of wood. When I came out this morning, I didn't put any more wood in it. I checked it. I hit the logs with the pry bar to make sure we had good contact it was good and then I haven't put any more in it today so it's good that it's looking like that now I can load it all back up and let it burn all night I'm all frosted up. The camera I was just using died. It didn't like the cold, but I'm not sure how much that last clip we got. It's loaded up with 20 of our pieces of wood. Hopefully that's enough to carry us overnight. It's supposed to be negative like 25 all night long. It feels like negative 44 with the wind chill. So it'll be interesting to see how long the house stays. Right now it's about 69, 70 in the house. <sighs> Let's get inside. I have the chicken breast ready to go in the oven. They were marinated for over four hours in the marinade we made earlier. The marinade smells really good. I made sure they were nice and coated. I'm gonna get them in the oven and then I just have some frozen broccoli that I put some avocado oil and some salt on and then some baked potatoes, sweet potatoes in the oven. So that's what we're having for supper tonight. Let us know in the comments below what you're having. Good morning. It is negative 22 out, and they say when it's this cold out, you're able to throw boiling water in the air, and it'll freeze in the air. We've never tried it before, so we're going to try it this morning and see how it works, because <laughs> it's cold. It's cold out. Mm. All right, let's see if this really works. Don't get me. Ready? Yeah. Oh. That is crazy. You okay. hear it go. Yeah. <laughs> That just sounds wild. It worked. It worked. That's just crazy. I love the sound of it. Hopefully the camera picks that up. It is so nice and warm in the house. It's 70 degrees in here. That sun is coming through <laughs> the greenhouse windows. Perfect. Second coat of paint is on the cabinet. I did that last night. It's looking really good. That's going to look nice. So now we can get this in place and then start working on the trim work. If there's any touch up that's gonna to need to get done, it's gonna be on the inside that could use a little bit more, but that'll be just as easy to paint standing up if it needs it. The sides, I think, 
are just fine. So we're gonna leave it like that. I was just reading a news article that said Mount Washington was as cold as Mars with record-breaking wind chill as low as 110 degrees below Fahrenheit with the wind chill. That's just not that far away from here. You can see Mount Washington a lot of times when we're driving around and yeah, that's just crazy. They have the weather observatory up there and that's cold. We were negative 44 with the wind chill overnight and we had wind gusts like up to 30 miles per hour. I could not imagine being on top of Mount Washington with that Arctic blast. It says the visibility dropped down to 100 yards up on the mountain. So it said that the temperatures were down to negative 46 below zero and they're having winds of 100 miles per hour. And they're having winds of 125 miles per hour. So all together, negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 44 is cold enough. I couldn't imagine what 110 would feel like on the old skin. I don't think you'd be able to be out very long. We got the side adjusted nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this side in then we'll tackle that side, make sure everything is nice and we can stop building out our trim and getting everything painted. All right, hopefully we have our holes in the right spot. I did look back at our old videos and we do have blocking all the way across this wall. So we put blocking up high, medium, and then like here. So that way we have something to screw our cabinets to and we did go all the way across. I'm just going off of eyeballing where the screws are in our cabinets, and I don't remember what height we set them at. If I would have been smarter, I would have wrote it down somewhere. We probably did, but we probably just don't know where it probably, is. Probably mm -hmm. threw it away. No. Uh -oh. ah, bummer. Yes or no? Yes, that one hit wood. I screwed in the bottom one that hit wood. The only one that did not is this one. All right, I got that all anchored to the wall. That's not gonna go anywhere. And my big concern was when we have the drawer in for the kitchen as we're pulling it out, I wanted to make sure this was good and strong and that it wouldn't loosen up over time, but I don't see that going anywhere. That should be good. Now we can start doing the trim work. We're gonna have to notch it out. A whisker here, I think, for the countertop, because the countertop comes out past the cabinet just a little bit, so we'll just have to make a little notch. Jack's got the best seat in the house. He does. It looks so nice outside, but it's not. Do you guys think I'm a terrible person because I just watched him from inside and I didn't go outside and help?
I gotta go outside and I gotta make a couple of cuts on the table saw before I do that. I'm gonna get my width and everything figured out now. So that way I don't gotta mess around outside. That is cold. Once we get all of our parts and pieces made, we'll pocket hole screw everything together on this frame and then we can prime and paint it. I got the first coat of paint on the outside here. It is pretty sparse, I'll show you. You can see through it pretty good. It's amazing how much coverage the second coat gives you. We get the second coat put on and let it dry, and then we should be able to put this on the cabinet today. All right, let's give it a test fit, and then we'll get it secured. Couldn't match it any better. Not really. So I think just like that, I'll take it down, we'll get some glue on, and then I'll get it nailed. Now we gotta try not to make a mess. So now we gotta let this dry and I got sandpaper ordered because we ran out of sandpaper. And we're gonna fill in all the nail holes, give this a quick little sand down and then just touch up all the little imperfections. But that looks so good right now. I love the cabinet. It's what I envisioned. I can't wait for the stuff in, but we are waiting. We're going to just have a couple things. We're gonna sand a couple of little places that the paint's not exactly dark enough. And then we have the toe kit. We're gonna make it one piece so there's no split. Then we're gonna get the stuff in here and it's gonna be really good. And I'm super excited for that, but I don't wanna rush it and make it so it's not perfect. 